Hey friends, it's Miss Stern. How are you today? Would you please ask a grown-up to subscribe to the channel and then I'll let you know when there's a new story up. Thank you. The story I have today is a good one for winter. It's called Snow Day. Do you like to have it off from school when it snows? Do you like to play and do something special when it snows? Well, find out what happens in this story when the weather forecast is saying there's gonna be a lot of snow. Now, I want you to pay attention to the narrator. The narrator is the person who's telling the story. And at the end, see if you're right. Okay, are you ready? Let's find out about their snow day. You ready? Here we go. Did you hear that? Did the weatherman just say what I thought he did? Did he say snow? Oh, please let it snow. Lots and lots of snow. Look at the sky. I can feel it in the air. We're getting snow tonight for sure. Just imagine, so much snow, even the buses can't go. No, so much snow, even the teachers can't go. Ooh, what are they wishing for? Yes, a snow day. You know what that means. No alarm clock ringing. No one saying, time to get up. No one shouting, hurry or you'll be late. No school. I can't wait. Tomorrow, we'll have a PJ day. We'll pile on the sofa and snuggle under that old blue blanket. We'll sip hot chocolate from giant snow snowman mugs. We'll stay inside warm and cozy until the snow drifts down in soft white heaps. Look out the window. It's spitting snow. I hope it snows a foot deep. I hope it snows piles, the snow piles up to the top of the steps. I hope there's so much snow we can't even open the door. No school for sure. I need a snow day. A day to play outside, a day to read my new book, a day to watch TV. Did you hear that? The weatherman said it's getting colder. Maybe we'll get two snow days. How do you feel about snow days? What would you do? We've got to get ready. Where are those fuzzy mittens? What about the snow boots? Oh, we can build a snow fort down by the walk. This time, let's make it two feet, no, four feet tall, and stack up a zillion snowballs inside. Whoa, look at that sky. Snow is falling like a bazillion goose feathers. Yippee! Wonderful, amazing, we can't go, Snow. Where can't they go? Where'd we put the sleds? Come on, help me bring them up. We'll go sledding in Mrs. Cope's field. The sleds will shoot down that hill. I know, I know, we should go to bed. Tomorrow's a big snow day. Good night, everyone. Sleep tight, everyone. We're building a snowman tomorrow. Say, what's that noise? Is it morning already? Do I hear kids on the street? We've got to go get out there and build our fort. Open the curtain. See what's going on. Look at all those kids. Bundled in coats and hats and mittens and boots and book bags. 
What happened to all that snow? Yikes! We have to hurry. There's no time to waste. Brush your teeth, wash your face, comb your hair, throw on your clothes. We've got to go. Wait, I forgot my books. Wait, where are the keys? Zoom, zip, scoot, pile in the car. I can't be late. I'm the teacher. Giraffe, I really needed a snow day. How did you like it? It was cute, right? And what about the narrator at the end? Did you guess who it was telling the story? So what I'd like you to do when you read, when after you read the story, after you hear the story, um, is to make a list of three or five things that you would do if you had a snow day. And make sure to draw pictures about them. The other thing that would be great to do is to write your own story. Now you choose who the narrator will be. Is it going to be you telling the story or one of your characters? It could even be an animal. So write a nice story with a beginning, a middle, and an end about a snow day. So I hope you have a great winter and I have some more stories about snow that I'll be putting on here soon. So until next time, my friends, happy reading.